was a period of time with no emotional middle, only highs and lows. Back in 1990, Gore Chasseur had defected from Russia. In order to skate on the U.S. Olympic team, though, he would need to be a citizen. So the team tirelessly lobbied Congress to speed up the process, only to see it derailed on the eve of the 94 Nationals. You never count on anything 100%, but it seemed to be moving yeah. in the direction that we wanted, and it, things seemed to be okay. And then the week before Nationals, it just all blew up. Their Olympic dream was crushed. And when Renee broke her wrist in a freak collision during a practice a week later, gone too was their hope of even defending their national title. But as hopeless as things seemed for Roca and Sir, they were just that bright for their old friends and training partners Elizabeth Punselin and Jared Swallow. Three years before, Renee and Gorsha had choreographed the routine with which Liz and Jared won the 91 championship. Now in 94, with a stirring performance before a hometown crowd in Detroit, Liz and Jared would win a second title. Gorsha and Renee would stay home. Punselin and Swallow would go to Lillehammer. Put it all together and have a performance like we did this evening in front of your friends and family is, is definitely a dream come true. Things could not have been much better. Less than a month later, they could not have been much worse. Eight days before Punselin and Swallow were to march in the Olympic opening ceremony, Liz's father was fatally stabbed by her brother. Courageously, the two went to Lillehammer and dedicated their performance to her dad. felt like skating was a relief from everything that's, that had been happening off the ice. And when we got back on the ice, it was calm, you know? In the lives of four people, there was disappointment and tragedy, precious little joy. In the crucible of competition, their relationship soon changed. I don't think that what happened on the ice make it more distant. I think what, more what was happening off the ice kind of kept a little bit more cool air in between. It was the citizenship issue. Gorsha and Renee had lobbied Congress before the 94 Nationals, but they were shocked to later find out that so too had Jared and Liz. Well, frankly, uh, we wrote letters of, of uh, disapproval um, for the reasons that uh, everyone should, be, should be go through the system of uh, getting naturalization in the same manner. Everyone should be equal. There wasn't one individual who pushed it. There was a, quite a large contingent. And uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you that we were part of that contingent. To have a citizenship or naturalization rushed, I think, um, was the point of view we were coming from. And it, it hadn't been done for any athletes in the past. I mean, Yvonne Lendl or anyone. So uh, we were just trying to use our rights as citizens and use the government, um, democracy, whatever, to our advantage. And so with the issue of Gorsha's citizenship still unresolved, they will compete against each other start to finish at Nationals for the first time since 93. But with all the frustrations they went through, why did Roca and Sir come back? We didn't want that to be the ending. <laughs> that, was, that was not the way we wanted our story to finish. We wanted to see what was beyond that. The national title is at stake, and America's only birth on the world team. But clearly, for these four skaters, that's just the beginning. So here are the standings after the original dance. Roca and Sir are the leaders at this point. Punselin and Swallow are just behind in second. In the third position, Robinson and Breen. Joining me now is Dick Buck.